Welcome to Speaking Our Peace, a podcast that brings you into conversations with peace and nonviolence activists from all over the world. In this week's episode, you'll hear from Annie Luck and our guest, Alain Danguaz from Brussels, Belgium. Alain is one of the members of the advisory committee for the JJUGA 2020 March. He also works at the University of Louvain as the coordinator for sustainable development. In this episode, Alain shares his stories on organizing marches within Belgium, where marching is not a common strategy for mobilizing communities. He talks about the nonviolent approach when thinking about environmental and economic issues. At the age of 60, Alain is not thinking about retirement or taking it easy. In fact, he's excited about the 10-year plan he's working on for Jay Jagat. His long-term thinking and planning offers us a way not only to carry the hope for a better future, but also to not get discouraged by the challenges we face today. I'm working, uh, I created a little place also for sustainability, maybe 14 years before in uh, Louvain and Nerve University, south of Brussels. The, the objective is to, to tell to people, to inform them, to meet them about what is the climate crisis, about the, the question for f- good food access and industrial agri- agriculture, about uh, the biodiversity, the, the very strong difficulties, at least, about also uh, the, the, the form of governance, or, or to organize ourselves, by ourselves, collective approach, all the sustainable sustainability uh, patchwork, yes, something like that, mm-hmm. working with students, working with uh, researchers, also with uh, citizen in the streets, also with the institutions of the city, town, or the university of being an institution also. A lot of uh, few networks of small NGOs in culture, in culture, in environment, feed, maybe in social uh, dynamics also, it's, uh, and also enterprises. Wow. So it's a uh, central places. It's a very uh, small stuff. But being in inquits, we small is beautiful, and we do nothing alone. How did you get connected? Like, I mean, to me, Belgium and India are not kind of, you know, the two countries that you often think together. Um, how did you get involved? Okay. 12 years before, I was already maybe 15 about what is nonviolence, about uh, the what the tradition tell us about uh, good life, something like that. Yeah. The way of being in the day to day. And uh, we make, organize a forum, one people, one planet, 10, 10 years before. And we have already a first workshop about nonviolence. I, I promote, propose it with a friend, Isog, from the Friends of the Earth, the Earth. From Friends of the Earth, yes, okay, yeah. okay. And a few months after, I meet Jacques Velu. Jacques Velu was a lot of time in India, and he meet uh, he met Raja Gopal in uh, '85. Wow! And so from this moment, that is uh, t- uh, 2011, something like that, we invite Raja Gopal to, twice a year in Belgium, and he also come in Belgium a few times. Yeah. And uh, Maybe the headquarter of Raja Gopal in Belgium is in my place. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we organize meetings, we, we go to a few cities so we can make uh, conferences, uh, organize debate and so on, and step by step. And they, they invite me three times in India. Great. I went three times in yeah. India. And the first time I spent uh, three days with uh, a beautiful man, Jaya Pragesham, is that, I am sorry, sorry for that. And he told me, he told me about nonviolence. It was a very uh, deep uh, first step for me about what is nonviolence in an Indian uh, approach. And I learned the road, AIMSA, and so on and so on from this moment, seven years before, eight years before, something like that. And also, it's by invited Raja Gopal, we have uh, created links with professors in the university, with students, with a lot of NGOs six to five, eight years before, to give support to Ekta Parishat. 
Wow. And also, they invite me to be a member of the European platform, which gives support to Ekta Parishat. Jack is one of the founders of this platform with the people in Switzerland, in Germany, in France also, in UK. UK is very approached in a close link. Okay. And in 16, Rajaji uh, proposed of Jajaget. Yeah. And so we say yes. We will understand <laughs> after. We say yes before. <laughs> 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 yes, it is the, the beginning. And uh, okay. And also with the Friends of the Earth, we have worked uh, three years about what is non-violent economy. We try to do that because for me, it is the, in the DNA of the Friends of the Earth member to, to live in simplicity, to take care of the nature, to take care of the others also. It's the, the roots of the non-violent economy. And so we have make some steps on this point. Well, I just, uh, it's interesting to me that, um, I mean, it makes sense once I realized that, you know, environmental protection or sustainability is one of the pillars for the Jai Jagat movement. Yeah, it um, is. But I have to say, prior to that, um, looking at a lot of the, the different things that environmental groups tend to do, they don't, not a lot of them tend to emphasize the nonviolent aspect of it. I mean, you know, we try not to kill animals and all that. It's, it's, it's definitely, there's some elements of nonviolence, but I find they don't often really try to push to say it's because, you know, we need to live a nonviolent life that, you know, environmentalism is part of it. Why do you think that's the case? Jaya Pragesham in India and Madurai, I met him seven years before, twice, twice. It tell, it tell us about the, to take to take care of the elder, but to take care also of the nature. It, it is in, the, in the, the roots of the Indian approach. Also the Jain, Jain tradition. For me, Buddhist approach is the most, the closest of the take care of the nature. But the Jain approach is a, a little deeper. Oh, okay. <laughs> because they put a mask on the mood not to uh, not to kill the mosquitoes and so on. <laughs> wow. They, they are working without pushing, without uh, making pressure on the ground to take care of the, the small animals and so on. They go very deeply in that. And also with the, the deep ecology approach, which is for me coming maybe with Arne Nais, Nais, which is a Norwegian philosopher, but he takes lessons from Indian. And the uh, deep ecology approach in the, for Tishnatan or maybe for the Dalai Lama is to be in a deep relationship with nature and so on. And uh, Satish Kumar, which is also from the Jain tradition and from the Gandhian tradition also both, he is living in UK now. Uh, he wrote a book that is the reverential, uh, sorry for the accent, reverential philosophy, to be in link to, to be in re reverence, uh, sorry for the word, reverence, 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 reverence. reverence. Yeah. reverence. no, not reverence, oh. uh, to, to, to give uh, yes, to, to be yes. greeting, yes. Voilà, to the, to the <laughs> order. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you are, therefore I am. Oh, right. You are that why I'm, but tell that to the trees, tell that to the animals, tell that to the nature in the large, tell that to the other human, of course. Therefore, you are that why I am. It is a very deep uh, roof <laughs> intention. Voilà. And if we take this, this kind of uh, link, deep link with the nature, you can go on further with the other, the Gandhian uh, proposition, all men are brother or women are sisters. It's one of the book of Gandhi. What does it mean? All men are brothers. And so it's not possible to kill in anyone, to, to push anyone in slavery. It's not possible.
there were some marches in Belgium um, mm. as part of the whole um, the Jaidagat march. So did you did you participate in any of those marches? <laughs> in 2016, Radha Jaji invited us to the Jaidagat initiative. For some, a few months after, we created a little group with people who have already the experience of marching in Belgium. The, the, the first march 10 years before was about degrowth, degrowth movement. And so they learn, they teach us a little about how to organize marches. And from two years, and, uh, probably, we have a large group of 15 people and we have organized a march from middle of Belgium to South Albuquerque after to go to Geneva and so on. Uh, during met in Belgium one month in July, but right. coronavirus <laughs> we have to stop everything, and so a uh, three month two months before we st we take ten days to stop ev everything because already everything was ready, the link with the people, the link with the municipalities for authorizations, the everything was ready, but we have to stop. <laughs> I know it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> It is disappointing. So have you <laughs> turned to a different kind of format instead of marching? Because like you said, marching is just one part of, of the bigger movement, right? Well, it's the beginning now. Very interesting for me. Two, I, I was in Norway two, two years before and in January. I met Sofia, which is uh, 25 in Sofia. She's a, a woman, a, little, a young woman involved in the, the Jagat Initiative. and. In the evening, oh, we will we will go on two years before already. So not twenty twenty only. We have already the intention to go further. Wow! <laughs> I, am, I am I am sixty years old and a little more than. But she is twenty five. I cannot live in alone. <laughs> so we, are, we are formatting something in twenty twenty. Okay, but it's not only from twenty twenty. It's for further. Other steps, and so the new initiative of Jela Hajaji to invite us to a 10 years Jajagat initiative for non violent economy, non violent governance, for uh, refreshing the way to destroy <laughs> for, for a new ecology and also for peace builders. It's very important for me, so okay, I'm very happy with that. Yeah, not to, to run to organize marches because it's not. We have not really the experience in, in India. <laughs> it is in the, the earth, it's in the mind, it's in the, 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 the body, it's for, not for us. So I, I prefer this long time with invitation. I think it's uh, more, uh, more clear, more precise. And also they give us time to organize for that and to link, to be in language. There, in Belgium, there was also uh, the proposition of a march for young people, 60 kilometers during three days. 500 young people who will do that. We, they had, they had the intention, but it was killed, and they cancelled wow. because of the coronavirus. Also, there were some. Okay, so we have to build again for them, for the young people. They are 17, 16, 18, maybe. What can of proposition we have to do with them. And so uh, in the end of July, the August story, we, uh, we will uh, have a very little match, only eight people. So we have no authorization to ask, not precautions, uh, no organization uh, have uh, duty, but we will meet the people who have already give us the agreement to welcome us for the, the longer run. Oh, wow. And to stay in link with. And on the 23 of August, we'll have a meeting about what is the new invitation of Jajagat for a 10 years initiative. What does it mean for us? What kind of uh, proposition we will do? And also how to organize for that. And until now, we have a very important link with people for organizing the match in Belgium until Geneva but also with NGOs, with the peasant movement. You have to know that uh, since 10 years in, from being in link with Raja Gopal and Jill, we have uh, the support of the peasant movement in Belgium, uh, the farm, agroecological farming movement, yeah. organic one, because they like the 
either to be in link with peace and safety in, in India and over the world with Via Campesina. Also, the, the support of uh, ATD, uh, ATD uh, help, to, help, to help, help to people who are suffering. There is an international movement for that, okay. for the poorest. Yeah. And also, the third one is the friend of the earth, how to live simply so everybody can simply live simply live, sorry, the, the, the link to ecology. There are the, the, the three bases of the, the support of the Jejagat Initiative in Belgium. And from that also the climate uh, platform join us and also the Colupa and uh, Young People Initiative because they, Colupa is for peace builder, peace building. Mm -hmm. And also the international service, civil service International civil service is joining us because it's the year for pacifism for them, 2020. And so there are around 20 NGOs who join the movement step by step, and we will meet them on, by the end of August, not for only the March, but also for taking together the 10 year initiative. That is our plan for the next time. The next time, by the end of September, okay. On the Ectaparish at European platform, we are also in link with people in Spain, in Norway, in UK, and so on in France. And we have created a European platform to promote j -Jacket. And so we transform that. I one of the member of this initiative. And we will transform that for uh, 10 years. And also to, to give contents to the, the small maps uh, Jill proposed. Uh, so how do you how did she call that? The pop, 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 so to describe all the initiatives and so on, which are existing anywhere. And we, okay, we, in two days we have a meeting about it. Wow! So there is a bad job, and also by being in language, this is the more important, I think. Voilà, it's the, the next steps. Interesting that you're talking about just you know being able to 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 recruit hundreds of young people to march mm -hmm. together. I mean, despite the fact that you couldn't actually make it happen, um, why do you think this resonates so much with younger people? Because they have teacher first. Joel met Rajagopal three years before because their children, that the 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 young people, she's teacher. Okay, they sent the two. two two of them, they make a little film of Raja Gopal. And when uh, Joel, she's a woman, see this uh, little capsule, video uh, capsule, wow, it's important. So they bring the, the question of nonviolent economy at school. She was alone three years before. And now there are nearly 20 schools, teacher. Wow. They speak together and they move together. And from this point, uh, 500 young people were involved in this proposition. So the base is the teacher. Wow. We can, we can create the link. Yeah, because I was going to ask yeah. you, as an, as an educator yourself, um, uh, that plays, being an educator is an important role in, huh. in, in, in spreading this message. I think it's the, the way to be. It's not only to tell to the young what they have to do. It's to invite them to take the question. What does it mean for you? Oh, I'm afraid for my future. I am afraid for the future of the planet. That's the response, the first response of the young people. Or maybe I prefer to have a little room somewhere. Okay, first step. Second step, maybe there is a question. What can, oh, how do you, how do you want to live? Okay, maybe we can propose or suggest some experience. And if this people, because uh, not maybe not all the young people, but a few of them have the desire of something. 
and to 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 give them uh, awareness of the possibility they have through themselves. Okay, it's not so difficult. Just be present the the time which is needed. Mm -hmm. What was the experience like marching in in Belgium? It's is marching kind of a part of a tradition in Belgian culture? Certainly not. Maybe <laughs> marching with some friends. Uh, uh, your, with your husband, with your wife, and so on, uh, in the evening, okay, <laughs> maybe in the children's, so, okay, but marching for uh, a cause, making the, the experience of marching is not, no, no, it doesn't exist, so we create it. <laughs> so what was and it? We will do, we will do that in one month, and uh, by the end of next August, or so the <laughs> next month, we will do that for, for five days. The the project was for one month, okay, it's, it's, it's cancelled, so we will do for only a small group, but to to take the March initiative in the mind and in the body. Yeah. Okay. But through the, 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 the communities that you marched through, um, did people look at mm. you funny, like, what are these people doing? <laughs> No, it creates link with people. When we have prepared a one month march, I we went I went not only but in uh, maybe twenty five places and we speak one one year before. One yeah. year before, just one yeah because no, the, the march was normally in Ju July twenty twenty and we prepared right. it one more than one year before. So in last year we went in twenty five places. In each places we were very welcome. That's great. <laughs> the, the municipalities, there are uh, my uh, council, maybe three or five people uh, in uh, three places. All the my council was welcoming us. And we explained to the five people what we would like to. Maybe we can, could we have the authorization to, to, to march through the municipalities? Yes, of course. But more than that, they are very happy of this initiative. Wow! Very happy to fight against what cause uh, poverty, to fight against what cause exclusion. Everybody is in language with that. Wow! You know, it's very easy. Just being, not make advertising on that. That's fantastic. You know? ah. Very, very interesting experience. Because we were a little afraid, Oof. <laughs> we <laughs> are going in some municipalities, maybe the police will, will be very d d difficult. No, no. Wow. They gave us support to do that, really. But uh, we have, uh, with our group, uh, maybe we are 30, 40 people in Belgium already giving support. With all the places we were, we were agreed to welcome us, maybe 80 people. Wow. And, and we are a group of 30 to to push the JJAGAT initiative. We will have a next meeting by the end of Augustus to prepare the, the 10 years. I think uh, it's very easy. I, I was a little late because I had another meeting on uh, SDG goals and so on. And I speak about JJAGAT and the people were listening to that. It was a tech, very administrative meeting, but I speak a little about JJAGAT and the people were listening. Yes, wow. a deep listening. So everybody is important. Is it easy to talk to like the business people to try to get them to come together with people who are interested in sustainability? Like, how do you how do you make connections with groups that seem to seem so far apart sometimes? I think it's not easy and maybe not a good idea to mix the group, but we can speak with each group. Okay. And people who are in business activities know that the activities have to change they know that very well they're very mm -hmm. clever about that 
they have not already the solutions because the return on investment, because of the royalties, because of cetera, non prime and risk, or business risk, and so on. Okay, but they know. Yeah. The way is difficult, really. But when they are at home with the children or in the area of living, they are very clever also on the way to be with good food, with uh, sparing energy. Also. But it's not the same situation from them. Yeah, you have to, maybe it's schizophrenic, but uh, people are in the same situation also. I have a car. I, I would like to have no car, but for the moment, it's not possible for me not having a car. Okay, what shall we do? What shall I do? Okay, babe. I That's do the true. best, which I am so, and I cannot do anything, everything, sorry. Okay. And when you are with young people, it's very important my son, one of my son, and also the people I know, young, young people are very afraid of the next future. Very, very afraid. What shall we do to talk with them, to stay near, the, near them? I think to stay near is the most important, to help them to find another way, a little way, but to give them also uh, at least the confidence that they are not alone. And about non-violence, that's the beginning of the discussion, the dialogue. It's not easy. We have, uh, 10 years before, we have made small uh, meeting. What is non-violence? Mm -hmm. But non-violence, two words, very special to have two words and an opposite. The I'm size is easier for me <laughs> to take care, <laughs> not to create uh, damage. And so that take time to people to open mind, what, what could be non-violent economy? What could be non-violent education? What could be non-violent governance? We have to work about that. And I have not the response. I refuse to have the response because we have to, to share it and to, to, to try the response. It's in the concrete situation we have to promote the response, not in a theoretical one. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. And so it's very interesting for me to be in link with you in Toronto, maybe other also people in, in sort of France. What shall we, what can we do about non-violence? We have emotion and our emotional uh, situation, maybe we can become aggressive and so on. Violence, not violence, I don't know. But what could be another way? It is not, certainly not non-violence communications. It's deeper than that. It's not only spiritual approach. It is a uh, pragmatic approach, pragmatic life. Maybe you can have the, it is your, if you have a spiritual life, is a little easier but it's not enough because <laughs> yeah. we, yeah. we have to stay in the life not to go in the, in the colline in the mountain <laughs> yeah and i think there is also this staying in where we are and meeting the challenge that is difficult yes, yes. that you can't just kind of say oh yeah i'm just gonna live off the land in the mountains and just forget exactly about right. this well, well. yeah i, I think know. there is this there's there's the challenge in i think facing the some of the contradictions that we live like i have a car i, I like you i would prefer not to have a car but i need to have a car <laughs> so, yeah, well, so what shall we do so what do we do and or like you know let's look a little bit further into the future maybe we can create a community that eventually we wouldn't need to have cars and mm. and things like that but yeah i think it's it's there is no kind of perfect solution right now but then no. we all kind of work towards that the non-violence approach is uh, is very clear. It's very simple to express, not very simple to find, but very simple to, because it's uh, so, uh, so precise. I agree. Social forum where more larger, more confusing. I plea they exist. I plea. Thanks for the people who promote that. But we are looking for another another way, which is. Ekta Parishat, 85, maybe 88, the beginning, that means for 40 years. Gandhian thoughts, one, 100 years and more. Okay, it's still remaining. Okay, so that means it can be for us a good way to exchange, not to create a synthesis, because synthesis is probably difficult. We have to find a good solution where we are and to exchange and to share. And to create and to, to experiment, maybe to organize resistance together. The the the, the thinking non-violently is very difficult because we don't learn that at school, nor in the family. 
not in the cultural uh, surrounding. So we have to invite, invite, invent what has been. It's been very, very nice talking to you. It's, I'd love to meet you in person. I'd love to come to Belgium once we can fly. <laughs> You're welcome. You are welcome when you want. <laughs> no, I'm very happy. Thank you for this uh, meeting by uh, uh, my computer. Yeah. Um, to, take the, to have taken the initiative also. And I am joy because uh, you're in Canada from me, uh, 6,000 kilometers from that. Uh, <laughs> we are dreaming the same way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There are a few of us that are dreaming the same way. So, you know, and I, I love, I, you're giving me inspiration that I need to think, you know, a little bit further, not just, you know, the next four months or six months, but know, the next 10 years. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But maybe we have a plan to share on that. Uh, in Absolutely. With NGOs, with students, uh, with government initiative, maybe also. And to share it is very interesting for me with the roots of the Nivellance approach coming from the Gandhian initiative. Uh, and very important. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> well, I hope to talk to you soon and good luck with everything. Good luck to you. Thank, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Au revoir, bye-bye. Thanks for listening and for being here with us. We hope you feel as inspired as we do. If you want to talk about it, you can reach out to us anytime through email at speakingourpeace at gmail.com. Or feel free to reach out to us on Instagram or Twitter at Our Peace Podcast. You can find us on Facebook by searching for Speaking Our Peace. This podcast is produced by Annie Luck, Ashima Vishnoi, Priya Joshi, and Reva Joshi. We are supported by IGINP Canada. Our music is made by Sunbear. Until next time.